Top story here. It happened again, this time in Kansas. At four o'clock, we talked with doctors about the latest vaping related death. A 50 year old man from Kansas. New here at five, our Nathan Vickers is live outside of a vape shop where smokers are now reacting to the grim news. Nathan? That's right, a lot of people use these instead of cigarettes now, including the owner of this shop, Waldo Vapes. But doctors aren't so sure they're actually a safe alternative to cigarettes. When vape kits and e-cigarettes helped John Brower kick his smoking habit, he opened a business to do the same for others. I believe for most folks it's, it's going to be a better situation than smoking. Customers like Helen Graham don't miss tobacco. I don't have that awful smell in my house. I don't have that awful smell on me. Now the industry has grown. I mean, vape stores have been pretty thick across the U.S. for the last five years. So has the scrutiny and stories of possible dangers. As more studies come out, as more tests get out from the places this is happening, there'll be more clarity. Following the first death associated with vaping in Kansas, as well as stories of hospitalizations from illegal, unregulated THC products, doctors warn the smoking alternative might not be a safe one. Vaping is not necessarily safer than cigarettes. Dr. Elizabeth Silver is a clinical toxicologist at the University of Kansas Health System. She says when it comes to vaping, there's a lot that physicians just don't know yet. There's a lot that we don't know when it comes to the regulation about vaping products in terms of what people are putting into them. Brower believes there's a difference between the products he sells in his shop and the ones that are making people sick. Black market products that have no, there's no safety checks or balances to them. That's why he actually supports better regulations and more research to inform customers exactly which products might be harmful. Yeah, study it, please. What are the possible concerns, effects? Yeah, and one other concern that uh, doctors at KU uh, told me a, a little bit about was that uh, at their poison control center over the past two weeks, they've had nine different calls about the little cartridges in the back of certain e-cigarettes. Uh, they say that children can actually find those cartridges and ingest them and then consume uh, a lot of nicotine uh, that, that leads to a, a poison control call. Reporting live in Kansas City, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News.